For this experiment, you're going to need table salt, a jar, measuring cups, a straw or a skewer, string, and some food dye. Next, we're gonna measure out our salt. We're gonna use a four to one ratio, meaning for every four cups of water, we're gonna use one cup of salt. I'm only gonna use half a cup of salt, meaning two cups of water. Once the salt's measured out, we're gonna pour it into the jar. Try not to make as much of a mess as I did. For this next part, you're gonna need a grown up to pour some boiling water from the kettle into our salt solution. Once the water's in the jar with the salt, give it a good stir. Be careful not to burn yourself because the steam is hot. It does take a little while to get the salt properly mixed in. You'll keep stirring it until no more salt will dissolve into the water. If you have any food dye, mix it into the solution and give it a good stir. This will make our salt crystals coloured. Now we need to tie a piece of string to a skewer or a straw. You can even use a stick. Make sure to adjust the string length so that it's all the way to the bottom. Tying a paper clip or a staple to the end of the string will help weigh down the string so that it goes all the way to the bottom of the solution. Place the string into the solution, making sure that it goes down as far as possible. Over the next 24 hours, you'll see crystals forming along the string. Once you're happy with the amount of crystals that have grown, pull it out and you're finished. You've made a crystal.